Westmaster's Realm, set to release on March 1, 2024, is the first ever game by Blue Lightning Software, located in London, England. This game is set to be a real-time action combat MMORPG. I was fortunate to get early access to the game and participate in some playtesting. I'm hoping that a lot of the kinks I'm about to mention below will be cleared up by launch day. For a game that has the word quest in its title, there was no questing involved and absolutely no story. After beating my head against the game for four hours, I was going nowhere fast. At first, I thought that this was just the intro sequence, but after four hours realized that no, this was the actual game. There is no storyline and only one quest, which involves going out and killing the same mob over and over and over, with absolutely no end in sight. The first quest was to kill 10 mobs, then that turned into great, now go kill 25. After that, it was kill 100. When I got the quest that said now go kill 250, I was ready to die from boredom. The combat user interface needs some real work, as the flow of combat feels very sticky. A couple of things I noticed. First was that you have to get right up close to a mob before any of your melee attacks will have any effect. It's like the melee range is set to 0 meters, meaning that the mobs will hit you long before you are able to get a skill off. It took me a bit to figure out how the ranged skill works. You have to hold the left mouse button down and then while holding it down, aim through the crosshairs at your target, and then use the right mouse button to fire the ranged missile. I selected wizard as my class because I really enjoy playing ranged damage classes. At some point, I ran out of ammo. I was like, why would a wizard need ammo? But hey, I see a lot of them on the ground. Let me pick it up. The only problem was that the ammo laid on the ground perpetually, so it was impossible to tell what ammo had been picked up and what was still new since the pick up ammo did not disappear from the landscape. Then there was the problem with the actual targeting. The character is right in the center of the screen and so are the targeting crosshairs for the ranged class. Thus, it becomes almost impossible to line up your shots properly because your character staff or head appear in front of the crosshairs where the enemy is supposed to be. Other games have solved this by simply offsetting the characters to the left so that the enemy can remain in the field of vision. The last thing I want to mention about combat is that swapping between melee and ranged attacks is extremely extremely cumbersome. You'll die from an enemy before the swap is completed. If you start with a ranged attack and the enemy reaches you before it's killed, too bad, you'll die before you're able to swap to a melee attack and do something about it. The user interface also needs some improvement. All of the text interactions with the NPCs work like typewriter scripts where words appear one at a time. This is excruciating for me because I'm a fast reader and it wastes my time to have to wait for the words to appear one at a time. I highly recommend recommend changing this setting to have the text appear all at once. The interface with the tailor and weaponsmith crafters was also confusing because you didn't have to bring them raw materials, just the dropped items from the mobs you killed. It was more like a character equip user interface than a true crafting interface with recipes and materials. Landscape navigation also really needs some work. It is possible to walk through rock but impossible to jump up certain rocks that are not that high or when you jump up you either move through the rock or it rubber bands you away. Also, be careful when you go out into the desert because the spawn rate of the mobs is extremely high. I died many times because of a mob I just killed respawned seconds after it was killed. There was also a handful of times when the mob showed that it had no morale but kept killing me and wouldn't die after taking multiple hits that registered. Should you play or pass on Quest Master's Realm? Quest Master's Realm has the potential to turn into a great game, but there is still a lot of work required to get it to a point where it will be commercially viable. I look forward to continue watching the progress the team makes as more content becomes available. I do urge them to get this to the story much quicker and not have what looks like a tutorial take four hours. For my viewers, I would say that at the moment you should pass on this game. Unless you love game development and MMOs, then totally hop into the fray and participate in the playtesting that you can sign up for on their site, but be aware of what you're getting yourself into. If you found this helpful, then please become one of my patrons to ensure that even more great content continues coming your way. You can become a K patron at ko-fi.com slash Link linked in the description below. Happy hunting!